called Nazareth, there once lived a young woman who was called Mary. Mary was promised to marry a man named, jo who, named Joseph who lived there too. One day, an angel from God came and talked to Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Now, Joseph wasn't sure what to do when he heard that Mary was going to have a baby. One night, while he was asleep, <laughs> the angel came to talk to Joseph, too. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not to expose her to public distress, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save the people from their sins. Yes. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said to the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to the which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary and was his wife. Scene 2. Herod soldiers Mary, Joseph, and all actors. A while later, the emperor in Rome, Caesar Augustus, said that everyone had to go to their own hometown to be counted. Everyone go to your hometown, your own hometown to be counted. <laughs> so Mary and Joseph went to Joseph's hometown of Bethlehem. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that the census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quinarus was still governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up. Those who went up from the town of Nazareth and Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem to the town to the town of David, because he belonged to the house of the line of David, he went there to register with Mary, who was pregnant to be his wife and, ex and was expecting a child. <laughs> there were lots of other people in Bethlehem too. There were so many people, in fact, that there was no room for them in the inn. The place where the animals stayed warm and dry. While they were there, and Mary took him and wrapped him up, wrapped him up and laid him in the manger. Scene <laughs> three: Shepherds and Angels. That night, there were some shepherds on the field watching over their flocks of sheep. And there were shepherds working on the fields nearby, keeping, watches over, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the, to, of the Lord appeared to them, and glory of the, Lord, of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified, but the angel said to them, 
Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth, and pe earth peace to those who roam in his favor rest. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told about this child to them. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for what they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Scene four, wise men marry Joseph, angel, and all actors. One day after baby Jesus had been born, the wise men came to Jerusalem for the east to looking for the newborn king of Jews. They asked King Herod where this baby was. <laughs> where was who the king of Jews? Where is he who was born king of Jews? So the king asked his advisors, Where is he who was born king of Jews? In Bethlehem. In Bethlehem. Go and find him and let me know where he is so I can worship him too. So the wise men went and found the baby Jesus by following his star, and when they found him, they worshipped him. <laughs> but King Herod didn't really want to worship baby Jesus. He wanted to harm him. The wise men were warned by God about this, so they went home another way. When King Herod found out that he had been tricked, he was really mad. He was determined to destroy this newborn king, so King Herod sent his soldiers to Bethlehem to find baby Jesus. <coughs> but God warned Joseph in a dream to leave, and so they did. Joseph married Egypt. They stayed there until the evil King Herod died. After King Herod died, God told Joseph it was safe to come back. So Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus came back to Beth, or came back from Egypt to the little town of Nazareth. <laughs> Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, goodwill to men.
rest of the world to close it.